All right, so here are the comments we are featuring for this uh, this episode. These guys wanted me to do the Trailblazers, which we are going to be doing this episode. Hopefully, I did good. Um, it was a little tough to do this one as well, just like the Raptors was. The Blazers could have a lot of options with all their picks. They have to shed salary. That's pretty obvious. But uh, hope I did. I hope I did well. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Make sure to comment your team for a chance for it to be next episode. And uh, that's it for me, guys. Hope you enjoy. Make sure to leave a like if you do. Hope y'all enjoy. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of the Predicting the Offseason series today. And you guys voted the Portland Trailblazer for today. I have made sure to leave uh, give a shout-out to the three that left the Blazers in the comment section. Remember to vote your team in the comment section. And the team with the most votes is the next team I will be doing. Without further ado, thank you guys for the continued support. And uh, thanks for the subscribers. You guys are awesome. I've been growing pretty quickly, I feel like, for... Uh, Compared to what I how I used to grow, but uh, without further ado, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the Portland Trailblazers are a team. Obviously, they're my favorite team. I have my Damian Lower jersey hanging right above me right now, and this team, like the Blazers, just spent a ton of money last season, unnecessary contracts, and the Blazers I know are trying to get rid of some of that money they gave away. So. I think that's what we're going to be doing at the start of the video is going to be getting rid of contracts. So I feel like I'm going to be making um, realistic moves that I feel like you know teams would take. And I had to trade override some that – oh, I didn't mean to turn trades off. I had trade override, trade override on because I was getting the accurate picks for Portland. They have the 15th, the 20th, and the 26th. Uh, keep in mind these picks aren't accurate because of 2K start today is still not working, which is kind of irritating. Trade overrides off now, okay, because I didn't want to have that on. All right, so I think we're good. Now, really what I think the Blazers should be considering first, we're going to go to proposed trade, actually. A team like the Nets were interested in Alan Crabb last year. This guy comes off the bench. I love Alan Crabb, don't get me wrong. I love him, but he's just too inconsistent for the money. I feel like he's going to be a good starter, though. Like, if he were to start, I think he could go out there average, like, 18 or 20 a game. Just to be honest, I feel like he could be that guy. But the Nets wanted to resign or wanted to sign him last season, and I think we should have just let him go. But, you know, I was happy in the Blazers match, but I don't know if it was worth it. So the Nets were interested in Alan Crabb last year, and we're going to throw in our 26th pick because the Nets, you know, really want picks right now. So we're going to go ahead and keep that. And then I'm going to throw in Myers Leonard in here because we need to get rid of this guy too because – he just didn't play well for his contract this season. Uh, we're looking for the Nets. So we don't want any picks from the Nets. We just want to shed salary here. And they wanted Alan Crabb last season. I feel like this would help the team a little bit. Um, oh, I was about to say, because I was thinking, the Blazers did draft Rondé Hollis-Jefferson before trading for Mason Plumley. I was going to try to trade uh, for him. But maybe we get a solid starter. Uh, like, maybe the Blazers end up getting, like, I think the Nets like Sean Kilpatrick a lot. You know, let's go ahead. Just get Sean. Okay, he's about to become a free agent too. Um, Karis LeVert, I think they value him a lot. Trevor Booker. Maybe we can get Trevor Booker from them. We give him Alan Crabb, a first-round pick Myers Leonard for Trevor Booker. What do they say? They accept. So we get Trevor Booker, a nice, solid power forward that could come off the bench. Uh, I think there would be a nice move for the Portland Trailblazers to do. Uh, so... Because um, I honestly think Noah Vonley is going to be the starter next year. He did progress pretty well. Now my next trade we're going to do is we're going to keep the we're going to trade the twentieth pick as well. It's not Boston's pick, uh, realistically, but you know in the game it is. It has been very discussed that the Knicks um, and the Blazers have been talking about. The Knicks have been wanting to acquire one of the Blazers' picks. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to throw in Mo Harkless. I feel like could stay on the team like he's fine but I feel like the Nick I feel like realistically the Blazers are going to trade Mo Harkless to the Knicks although I think he's better than Evan Turner and more worth it because of his money situation Evan Turner didn't play well to his contract he was he's a very overpaid player as much as I would love to uh trade him in this trade but I don't just don't know if the Blazers are going to do it just as this is predictions, not a rebuild, so I don't think the Blazers are going to trade Evan Turner. I don't know why the Knicks would want Evan Turner for that contract anyway. So what we're going to be looking for is 
a salary dump in a way. Um, you guys can give me like I don't care. Uh, I can't say it. Mendauskas, Kumenzakas. Maybe they favor him too much. I don't know. I know they've been talking about a trade for a while. Maybe they just give us that. We give him Maurice Harkless and a first round pick. Um, I do want to get rid of Evan Turner, but I don't know. All right, so we do get that. So we did shed some salary, and that's we still have a lot of money in our books. A lot. Fessizili is going to be walking. Um, Ed Davis. Um, I don't know if Ed Davis is fine, I guess. We're not really going to have a lot of money this offseason at all. I don't know, man. I don't feel like the Blazers could pull off like trading all three of the guys they signed. Even... Even if we're not going to have a ton of money. Oh, this is already a disaster. I mean, just so much money going lower McCollum, which I understand. Those are your two best players. We did get Trevor Booker to be a nice power forward option. Um, but this, we only got one off season, So maybe we, maybe the Blazers can go an extra mile and trade Evan Turner too. I'm going to go ahead and trade him because... Um, he's just too much money. I feel like the Blazers could try to find a trade partner for him and maybe get a valuable player out here. Like a Darren Collison off the bench would be nice. Willie Hernan Gomez, Kyle Quinn would be cool. Clarkson would be nice. Vucevic. Ooh. Mason Plumley, get Mason Plumley back. Um, Ish Smith, Ryan Anderson, Tyson Chandler, NS Cantor, Chris Dunn. Golden State Warriors not happening. Um, I don't know, man. I can't. I I don't know. I just don't see the Blazers trading Evan Turner in this offseason. I just don't know. He he's a nice. He's kind of a nice third option. He can play down there in the mid range. You know, the Blazers could go either way with their picks. They could go ahead and you know just draft everybody, or they can dump some salary, or they could. Cause I don't know if we're gonna be able to go after like a lot of free agents this offseason anyway. But then I'm thinking, is Trevor Booker really worth it? Like, what? But there's not going to be a ton of money we can shed. I mean, they could trade Al Farouk and Minu, but he's been solid. You know, I don't know. Maybe let's trade. We have too many power forwards. Let's go ahead and trade him. Uh, maybe we, the Blazers trade for this guy. Just flip him. Get the 33rd pick. Uh, I don't know. Trade him to the 76ers. So we do have one million <laughs> in money. I feel like they could trade Ed Davis too. I know we're just doing a lot of trades because I don't know. Ed Davis didn't really play well last season. Maybe they could package Aminu and Ed Davis and just package them together. Get rid of them. I don't know. It's just Blazers have a lot of options. It's tough. They can get a nice backup center, but I don't know. Hmm. Shed more salary. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna trade him to the Spurs. We're gonna just dump some more salary and Just I could see the Blazers trading him. So we got 14 million cap space. We keep Evan Turner uh, We need we have uh, Yusuf Nurkic. We'll have Noah Vonley. So let's go ahead and get right Actually we still have our 15th pick too. or no. Did we trade that? Oh, no, we didn't trade it. Okay, so you know, let's go to the draft and I know this is taking forever here in this offseason, but you know we're only focused on one offseason, so that's why we do that. So let's go to the 15th pick, and let's see if we can get some value. It's right outside of the lottery, so I hope the Blazers do keep at least one pick. Hoping for the 15th pick they keep. I don't know if I want to trade it just yet. Let's see who's left. Like a guy like Jonathan Isaac, maybe. Is he left? Malik Monk has slipped this far? Are you kidding me? I... No, no way Malik Monk would ever slip this far. Um, you know what, man? 2K, 2K, you know, they give him the option. There's no way Malik Monk would slip this far, though. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Should I take him? There's no way he would slip this far. There's no way he would. And he's a sharpshooter, so... Mm, like... The Blazers, they need defense, and as much as I want to take Malik Monk, there's just no way he would ever slip this far, bro. Like, I don't know. Should we should we just take it? Like, I'm just going to go ahead and take it. There's no way he would ever slip this far, but I feel like the Blazers keep their 15th pick. But just for the sake of the video, for the entertainment, he slipped this far. 
Maybe he does in real life. Who knows? Maybe when the draft comes around, he slips that far. I seriously doubt it. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take him anyway because why the hell not? So we get Malik Monk to come off the bench. That's pretty solid. So, you know, they gave me the option. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Dylan Brooks. I've heard about this guy, I think. I'll go ahead and sign him too. Why not? Player options. Now this is where we're going to be banking in. Azili can walk because I don't... I don't think the Blazers... I think they would keep Shabazz and Ape here because he played pretty solid towards the end. Nurkic definitely staying. Um, he's going to be a big, big factor in next season. So, Azili can walk. All right, now we're in free agency. Let's see how much money we have left now. Ooh, two million. Who do we give it all to? Uh, what does this team really need, though? So, let's see. We have Shabazz and Ape here. Yeah, as a backup point guard, we have Link Monk as a backup shooting guard. We don't have a backup three, or maybe even a starting three for that matter. Trevor Booker could start, Von Lake could start. I don't know. Really, what we should be looking for is a three. So, I have th two million, but I might as well go try to sign someone, right? Um, Joe Ingles. What the boys really need is defense. That's what they really need to work on. Um, Vince Carter, Kyle Anderson, just not a lot of great options out here. Derek Williams, I don't know. Maybe just Blazers. I don't know if they could be very active in free agency this summer. Unless if Neil O'Shea was able to trade everybody and, you know, shed a lot of salary. I don't know, man. I feel like he could, I feel like he could do that, though. So, maybe we have a starting lineup of Evan Turner, Booker, Von Lane or Von Lane Nurkic and Malik Monk off the bench. Our backup point guard situation isn't the best either with Shabazz and Napier. Although, if his overall on here is better, it'd be fine. Like Patty Mills, he's played for Portland. Um, Ty Lawson, too much money. Um, Darren Williams, too, he'll ask for too much money. All right, let's see if we can get Patty Mills. That's I think that's all we're really gonna do, I guess. Patty Mills, so. We get a backup point guard. Um, so, I feel like Connington some get, could get some more minutes next season, too. Does he go up, moving him to the three? No, he goes down. All right, so for this video, I guess he won't get any minutes. Um, so, really, what we have, we signed Patty Mills. We trade, we trade, we dumps the salary, but, you know, Blazers could, like, make a big move and trade for Paul George or something. But I've done that in another video, so I was kind of trying to be realistic here because we don't know if that would even happen. So, Trevor Booker, Noah Vonley, uh, although we don't have a backup center or backup, a solid backup three, I guess. I wouldn't mind giving what's-his-face minutes, Jake Lehman. Um, JaVel McGee could come in. Jared Solinger, Dwayne Dedman. Like, I feel like this would be perfect because the Blazers need a rim protector. And that's exactly what Dwayne Dedman gives you. So I'm going to go ahead and sign Dwayne Dedman to come off the bench and be a nice rim protector for us. So that's perfect. I think that move makes sense. Let's go straight to player progression. I'll recap the lineup and uh, see how we do next season. All right, so here is a lineup for next season. It's not bad. We got Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum. Evan Turner, Trevor Booker, uh, Yusuf Nurkic, Dwayne Deadman, Patty Mills, Blake Monk, and Vonley. I would give Vonley the start if his overall was just a little bit better, but I'm just going to go ahead and give Trevor Booker the start. Why not? And I was kind of thinking, man, like, do we, you know, put Malik Monk in at the three? Let him ball out at the three, maybe? I'm going to go ahead and do it, actually. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and give... Um, Blake Monk to start and let Evan Turner chill on the bench. Be be bench. I did not mean to say whatever I just said. I'm sorry for that. So I'm going to go ahead and let Evan Turner come off the bench. And I'm going to let Blake Monk get the minutes at the starting position because he would be a nice sharpshooter around them. So he would open up the floor for the Blazers. Although I don't think the Blazers are ever going to get him at the 15th pick. But I guess you never know. But I think this is a nice solid, solid starting lineup. You get Dwayne Dedman to come off the bench to... Give um nice uh, defense. Uh, Patty Mills, I don't know if he's much of a defender. I think Evan Turner is a little bit of a defender. And Von Lee, not much either. So, uh, I guess I could do 10-minute rotation to give Shabazz Napier minutes. But we already got Patty Mills. So, 
here's my thinking, really. The Blazers are going to shed salary, but they're not going to be able to do much. So maybe they get a guy like Trevor Booker for Alan Crabb or something like that, which I think would be solid. Uh, Yusuf Nurkic is going to be a nice scoring option for them as well. He balled out last year towards the end of the season, hoping he brings that back. Dwayne Dedman comes off the bench. Patty Mills, Evan Turner. And uh, there's a very big possibility we could go ahead and trade Evan Turner at the deadline. I feel like the Blazers could do something like that next season. But... I guess we're going to go ahead, sim to the trade deadline, see how we're doing. Uh, this clip's probably going to be, well, that last clip's probably going to be really long, so I'm going to go ahead and start simulating now. All right, so we are at the trade deadline right now, and Malik Monk is giving the Blazers a nice little third scoring option. Patty Mills off the bench. Booker's dishing in nine points. Yusuf Nurkic, you know, he's not, they're not going to have Yusuf Nurkic listed as much of a scorer on this game, although he is going to be a big scorer for us next season, I feel like. So, I feel like moving Malik Monk in the starting lineup was the right move. Um, I was just looking at free agents real quick. So, um, really what I'm thinking here, maybe we get a better bench piece for Evan Turner. I'm going to go ahead and trade Evan Turner here because you never know what the future can hold. And, you know, I could see the Blazers potentially trying to trade Evan Turner next season because... You know, he's not worth the money unless if he starts averaging 20 next year. But I highly doubt that would happen. So, let's go ahead and... I remember being upset. Wow, we can get Chris Middleton. I guess our Blazers pick is a little bit valuable. Tristan Thompson. Ooh, we are getting some nice trades out here. Rodney Hood, Derek Favors, Collison, Clarkson. Um, it's Nerlens and Well. What do we really need, though? Like, I feel like everything's pretty nice um Malik Monks are a nice scoring option Derek not Derek Favors Derek what's his name Trevor Booker's doing fine Yusuf Nurkic not trading him he's gonna be no way there ever would ever trade him um I don't feel like that could happen I don't feel like the Celtics would take this maybe they would since Avery Bradley's in a one-year deal and is gonna ask for a lot of money I don't know, man. What do we do? What do we do? I do want to trade Evan Turner here, though. Marcus Morris, uh, Andre Drummond, come over here. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, Collison, Ronnie Hood, Dirk Favre. Like, I'm looking at this trade. Avery Bradley's a nice two guard, but it would just be jam packed with McCollum. They don't need a shooting guard. Um, Otto Porter, you know, looking at this one. That's pretty nice, not going to lie. But would it be, like, we'd, I don't know. Could Otter Porter play the four? Could he play the four? Now what? I'm going to do it. Uh, we're going to trade picks and Otto Porter because I feel like Otto Porter would be a nice option here. So let's see what he's averaging this season. He's averaging 10, so not bad. So I'm going to do a little bit of a weird lineup here. I am kind of curious what would happen if I did move him. How he's six eight, so he wouldn't be that bad. So let's. I'm gonna go ahead, move him to the four. Um, I'm gonna move you to the four. Malik Monk's gonna still get the start. So we're gonna do a little bit of a crazy lineup. Twenty nine. I do want to give. Okay. Um, that's fine. Evan Turner. Where is? Where, oh, I just traded him. What am I talking about? I was like, where's Evan Turner? Uh, so I'm gonna give Malik Monk back. I'll give him 30. I wouldn't mind 30. I would want to give Yusuf Nurkic a little bit more minutes than that. Dwayne Denman come off the bench balling or something. Patty Mills 19. Give Vonley some minutes because he's not terrible either. Trevor Booker. So we have two power forwards off the bench. That's fine. I would Vonley go up at the three. Would he go up? No, he wouldn't. Okay, so. Um, that wouldn't solve anything. Okay. I all right. So I'm just gonna leave it how it is. All right. So we got Malik Monk. Outer Port's gonna. So we're gonna be playing small ball. Uh, we have scoring options everywhere, I guess. <laughs> Dwight Denman come off the bench. Um, actually, I'm gonna take away some of those minutes. Give Denman back 26. I didn't really check how D Denman was doing defensively. He's averaging two blocks and ten rebounds. So. Nice. All right, so we did a little bit of crazy stuff right there. I feel like that could possibly happen. Maybe it can't. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the uh, end of the season. Hopefully, we make the playoffs. Oh, damn, I was really hoping to give Mar or 
Blake Monk, Rookie of the Year, but didn't happen. Greg Monroe is your sixth man. Drummond is Defensive Player of the Year. And Kyrie Irving is Most Improved. And Tyron Lue wins Coach of the Year. Russell Westbrook obviously won MVP. Let's check out these teams. All NBA teams. We don't have any Portland Trail Blazers. All defensive first team. Um, no Blazers and no... Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay, Malik Monk is on all rookie second team. All right, so whatever. So we are the sixth seed. Um, we were the eighth seed forever, but look at this. Look after that trade I made. Where's the trade deadline? Where's the trade deadline? I think we lost like three games. Wasn't it like right here? So we simulated to right here after I made the trade. One, like we lost. One, two, three. We lost. Fu okay, more than that. But we won a lot of games, as you can tell. We won more games than we lost. So those trades did work out in the long run. So the stats, let's see. McCollum and Lillard kicked it up a little bit. Malik Monk still averaging 15. Otto Porter is a nice, more of a scoring option. Um, Yusuf Nurkic with nine blocks. He's getting blocks too. Dwayne Dedman's giving us a nice uh, defensive factor off the bench. Cool, cool, cool. So we're facing the Oklahoma City Thunder in the playoffs. So let's see uh, how we're looking against them. Oladipo, pretty much same team. They signed Thomas Robinson. Cephalosha's back in OKC. Let's just see how we do and do against OKC. We lose one. We lose two. We even it up, maybe? No, they're up 3-1. 3-1 leads are not impossible, though. They want to give more minutes. What do they want to do? Okay. They, I don't know what they did, but maybe we can make a comeback here. Do we make a comeback here? Ooh. Can we win this game? No, we get eliminated. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to jump in. Well, whatever. We got eliminated anyway. Um, I tried my best here, guys. These off seasons are a little tough to do. Not going to lie. You know, there's a lot of thinking that goes into it, and I don't want to disappoint anyone. You know what I mean? It's just a lot of pressure there. But uh, that's it, guys, for me. I hope you guys did enjoy. Hopefully, I did it all right for this uh, prediction. Blazers have a lot of options, so it was a little tough to do this one as well. But uh, that's it for me, guys. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And this is Crushables. And I'm saying peace.